it is now the month of September. By now, you should know that I have already been cleared by the Malaysian police of all charges related to possession of child as alleged by the police video that had been circling around since last year. But because of this video, there were many Christian polemicists and Islamophobes who took advantage of the situation I was in and they tried to smear, blaspheme and tarnish my good name in apologetics by editing the said video, putting in ridiculous lies and charges which had nothing to do with the facts at hand and they uploaded it on their respective channels. But Alhamdulillah, after I was cleared of this charge by the police who handed me a letter confirming that I will not be further investigated, I decided to take matters in my own hand. I decided to conduct a copyright strike raid. So not only was I able to clear my name of these charges, I've also managed to destroy Christian Polemics YouTube channels on YouTube. This is how I did it. Boom! So I searched for several polemical YouTube channels which had my name or something related to my name as its keyword in these channels and once I got the links pointing to these videos I submitted a copyright claim over these videos to YouTube Alhamdulillah YouTube was kind enough to go through my copyright claim and to rule this claim in my favor as a result the said video was taken down and the said Christian polemical YouTube channel got a copyright strike. So I did this several times and it accumulated to up to 60 videos or more. YouTube has ruled that their said video has violated my rights. YouTube has deemed that I am the sole legitimate owner of those said rights. Therefore, YouTube decided to rule in my favor. Now the question is, do these Christians actually follow their own Bible when they decided to steal my rights away from me and to edit these videos with my content and to publish them and pretend as though as it is their own? Don't they realize that they have violated their sacred Ten Commandments? Which commandment was it? Now, the Eighth Commandment itself is really short to the point. Four words. You shall not steal. No exceptions, no exclusions, no loopholes. If you take something that belongs to someone else, you're stealing. That means a lot of different things, though. Obviously, if you smuggle a candy bar out of a grocery store, that's stealing. You've taken something that doesn't belong to you. But there are other ways to steal, let's say, less tangible things. For example, if you go behind someone's back, you can steal their idea. If you find out sensitive information, you can steal an identity. If you employ slander and gossip, you can steal a reputation. If you deceive an employer, you can steal their time. You could keep going, but the point is there are a lot of things that can be stolen and the most irreplaceable things are rarely physical. So you see, Christian, you guys actually violated your own Eighth Commandment. Padan Muka, I would say to you, you deserve getting a copyright strike. You deserve that your channel has got brought down by me, the Muslim Apologist. Takbir or Wah Wakbar or Wah Wakbar. Fuck ya!
Yahweh the Satan.